Hey y'all, Tanny Cooks here, and in the last video I showed you how to clean hog maws, also known as the pork stomach. In this video I'm going to show you a delectable recipe to cook it in your Instant Pot pressure cooker so it will cook up in less time. So, let's get to cooking. This is a pack of hog maws. Hog maws are the pork stomach, the actual pouch that holds the food that the pig eats. In part one of the video, I go into all the details about cleaning your hog maws. You can use vinegar, baking soda, salt, and be sure to check out that first video to get all the details, including the different ways to clean them. You could use a knife, as you see here. You can pull fat off with your hand. You could also use kitchen shears. So for all the details, check out part one. It'll be linked in the description and the comments and at the end of the video, but look at all that nasty gunk. Yeah, so you want to be sure to clean them well. Once they're clean, we need to cut them up into bite-sized pieces. I cut them into long strips, and then I cut those strips in half. Depending upon how big they are, I might cut them into thirds. And by the time you do that, you have your bowl of cleaned hog moss. Now, for the good part, let's get our seasoning ready. I'm going to start off with a little washing my bell peppers. I have red and green. You can use any color you like. I also like onion in this. Onion adds a delicious flavor. Onion is full of liquid, so as it cooks down, it will release that natural onion liquid, as well as the bell peppers that will help season our hog moss as we cook it in the pressure cooker. Yes, we're going to cook these in the pressure cooker. So on the regular stove, cooking hog moss might take about three hours, three to four hours. But in a pressure cooker, it's going to take a fraction of that time cooking it on high pressure. So I have all of my aromatics chopped up. I have some minced garlic as well as my bell pepper and onions. We're going to use lower sodium chicken broth. We're only going to use a cup of this because our meat and veggies will add some liquid. We're going to add some seasoned salt, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, and poultry seasoning. For my six pounds of meat, I use two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of black pepper, and then a tablespoon of all the other seasonings, but you can season to your taste. You can also add in half a stick of butter to add more fat because we clean these really well to get off the nasty stomach fat from this meat before cooking it. I'm layering in my vegetables in the seasoned broth, and then I'm layering in some of the meat. And then I'm going to go in and add another layer of vegetables, and then layer in my meat. And look at how pretty that looks. All of this is just with that one cup of liquid. You want to be sure your meat and veggies don't go over the fill line on the inside of your pressure cooker. That's very important. So we're going to set the knob to sealing as we cook it. And when it's finished, it'll go to venting. So I'm going to put this on high pressure for 60 minutes, one hour, y'all, that's all it's going to take. So it's going to cook for one hour, and then we're going to let it naturally release for another 30 minutes. So it'll be a total of about 90 minutes in the instant pot. And y'all, look at this. Look at all of that extra liquid that has came out. And this is what actually cooked our meat and is keeping it tender. It is so flavorful, and I like to serve this over a bed of rice. And so for this day i happen to make basmati rice but you can make the rice of your choice you could also make this with chitlins the cooking time might be a little bit different if you mix in chitlins but there you have it easy way to cook hog maws in your pressure cooker thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more soul food recipes